now that we have our GUI set up with all of our buttons set up now it's time to get coding so we're going to right click in our hierarchy we're going to create an empty game object go to its inspector just make sure to click three dots and reset the transform then we're going to rename this game object uh, random manager random underscore manager we're going to go in the inspector and add component we're going to type script and click where it says new script we're going to name it random manager and click create and add okay so now the script will be created and it will be added to that empty game object so now we want to double click onto the script and on my side it will open up in Visual Studio on your side it might open up in Mono Develop or whichever IDE you're using to code okay so let me just enlarge in that a bit so the first thing you want to do is delete the start and update method for now we are going to do that by firstly creating empty list then we're going to create 10 random or we're going to generate 10 random numbers and then we're going to populate that list with the 10 numbers uh, and then we're going to display it in this text holder so let's try and implement that in our code so let's create our list so how we're going to create our list is we're going to say private list and the type is going to be int and we're going to name it random number list is equal to new list type of int and then open and close brackets okay so the next thing we want to do is create the number of uh, items we want in our list and I want to make this number uh, public so that I have access to it in my inspector in unity and I can change that around so we're going to create that variable by saying int total numbers in list and we're going to assign that to 10 for now okay the next thing we want is a public function that will be doing all of this uh, random number generations for us so how we create the public function is saying public void we're going to call the function random number generator open close then we're going to create our code block so I want to create a for loop that's going to run this amount of time so 10 times and then set 10 random numbers and assign that 10 random numbers to this list okay so we can create a quick for loop uh, and a quick way to get your for loops is if you just type in for and you click tab twice it will create the structure for you so we're going to say int i is equal to zero the amount of variables i want or numbers in this list will be this amount that i defined on top here so let's just make this public quickly so i have access to it in the inspector and then i'm going to say total numbers in list okay so this means that this number will be equal to 10 so this is going to go through 10 times I'm going to end up getting 10 random numbers in my list okay so the next thing we want to do is create a bounce for our random numbers so I want my numbers to start from 1 and stop at 99 so that's so that it doesn't exceed 100 or more and it doesn't go below 0 or less Okay, so how we do that is we create a variable we can just call it rand and that's going to be equal to random dot range so basically we're creating a range okay of numbers so we're going to say my numbers are going to start from 1 and it's going to stop at 99 okay the next thing we want to do is add those random numbers to our list that we created up here so we're going to say random numbers list dot add so that because that's how how we add numbers to our list and then we're going to populate this list with these random numbers 
that's being generated here between 1 from 1 to 99 that's inclusive of, of 1 and 99 okay so now that I have my list populated my list should have 10 num 10 random numbers the next thing I want to do is display this numbers in my text field that's here okay so how we do that is we first need to create a public text mesh pro UGUI and we're gonna call it random numbers holder okay the reason it gives us the squiggly line is is because we need to add in the text mesh pro library which is using tm pro and that should go away okay so what we're going to do now is we want to iterate through our list and then display each number in the list to this text holder so let's do that quickly so we're going to create a for each statement so we're going to type in for each double tap tab and then we're going to say for each number in our list which is random number list so we're going to say for each number in our list set the random numbers holder dot text because we want to access the text component of this holder okay so we're going to say set that to plus equal to the number dot to string because remember we need to convert this to a string right so text is a string it is only going to take in a string and at the moment all our elements in our list is all ints so this num is an int so we need to convert it to a string variable so how we do that is use the dot to string method and then we're going to say open and close now I also want it to have a comma next to each number so we can just add that in by using concatenation so we'll do plus double quotation we'll put in a comma and then I also want to leave a space after the comma after each number so I'll add in a space and I'll close that off with a semicolon okay so that should do it now we need to hook everything up so we go into our inspector we click on our random manager okay as you can see I now have access to this uh, number of variables that I want in my list okay so at the moment it's 10 so the next thing we want to do is drag and drop our random number text holder into its component here which is this text holder so let's do that let's just lock this random manager first so we're gonna click on random manager go to the top right where the lock is we're gonna click that okay and then now we want to drag and drop this into its component the last thing we want to do now is we need to hook up this button so let's just unlock that so we're going to click on the generate 10 random numbers button we're going to go in its inspector we're going to go all the way down where it says on click we're going to click the plus sign we're going to grab this random manager in the reason we do that is because the random manager has the script which is the random manager script which has the function random number generator so we go back to the button go all the way down then we want the random manager script and our function is called random number generator we want to click that and let's just save our work by pressing Control and s and let's give that a go and there you see it everything changes but now as you can see we have a bug in our code so let's fix that quickly because we don't want this to happen all the time every time we generate 10 numbers we don't want it to add and add and add so let's stop that the first thing we'd like to do is let's clear up all of this in here and say waiting for random numbers okay then we're going to go into our code 
Okay, so when I click this button, the first thing I want to do is clear whatever's in this text holder. Okay and then go through everything, pop, generate my random numbers and then populate it with my new ram, random numbers, right? So what we can do on top here is we can say random numbers holder dot text we can set this to equal to null that will take care of this disappearing so there won't be any text left there okay as you can see now but we still didn't take care of this part so let's take care of that. So we don't want our list to be um, adding on. So 10 numbers plus another 10 numbers, which is then equal to 20 plus another 10 numbers, which is equal to 30. If we keep pressing generate random numbers, we just want there to be only 10 numbers in our list. So what we can do is we can clear out our list when we uh, regenerate numbers so that it starts fresh. So we can say random number list dot clear we can use a clear function and that should take care of that we'll press Control and s to save our work let's go back and test this out so we'll click play and now when i generate 10 numbers i get my 10 numbers i click it again i still get 10 numbers click it again no matter how many times i click this i will always get 10 numbers two four six eight ten now this is what I was talking about when I said I have access to this total number variable. So if I change this to 11 and now I click generate random numbers, I'm going to get 11 numbers. If I click this to 15, I'll get 15 numbers. If I click this to 20, I'll now get 20 numbers. Okay, so you see what I mean. We can keep this as public or we can keep this as private. So in the next video, we're going to take care of the sorting from lowest to highest and from highest to lowest. So let's get started with that.